we don't want to be in a situation where we are not aware and we get surprised. Just like any leader, to be a competent one, you need information because you want to be able to make intelligent decisions. You have to be able to provide good guidance. And all of that requires that you have the full information. I think I've told the top management team that in terms of leadership, I'm more of the type who would empower the unit heads because that's the only way for them to become leaders and eventually to succeed me. Broadly, we have to assure energy security. Again, supply is a great challenge because we are not in control of supply. So supply comes from power developers and generators. We have to make sure that we are also helping in the development of new plant capacities, either by investing in these new plant capacities or providing them the basis upon which they can build. If we don't do that, nobody will build new plants. It will be old plants. And the problem with old plants is they keep breaking down. The reliability goes lower and lower every year. So we need a certain cadence when it comes to building new plants. And that's we think is our obligation and our duty. Renewable energy is a big priority. We have to build around a thousand megawatts of renewable power over five to seven years. So that's also our way of helping uh, the environment. And the more we can lower our carbon footprint, then the better it is for the country as a whole. It'll be bigger. Bigger is bigger. It's recognized in the country that Miralco is the top utility. So we hope that maybe in areas that are not well served, we could go in and provide them basically the service that Morocco has been providing to its franchise area.